All right, here's problem number six, talking about a radioactive carbon isotope, carbon-14. We're going to use that to do carbon dating. It tells us what the half-life is, and it says if we find a piece of petrified wood and that the carbon in it, the carbon-14 has uh, decayed by 98.62%, how old is that piece of petrified wood? Okay, one of the important things that it tells us is that it's a first-order process. So that gets us the first order integrated rate law. Now, this is just another form of the first order integrated rate law. You can also express this in terms of a line, which uh, rearranges the equation a little bit differently. Now, let's take a look at what we got here. So in order to do this, uh, I need to figure out what pieces of information I have. Well, I've got that the carbon-14 has a half-life half of 5,700. 30 years and that 98.62% of the original carbon-14 is decayed. And it's asking me how old is the petrified wood? So if I were to then write this equation down, I would say, all right, uh, the initial concentration, and it's giving me percentages, so I can just deal with percentages. I, it was a 100. And the final concentration at this new time that we're trying to figure out is well, it was 100 minus the 98.62% that decayed. That's going to equal the rate constant times the T, and the T is how old the wood is. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for T. Now, there's a problem, though. We don't get K. So I can't solve this equation without K. But giving you the half-life is also giving you the, the rate constant. If I give you the half-life, you can solve for the rate constant in this way. Remember, the definition of the half-life means that half of the starting material remains. So if I start out with 100%, then half of that is 50%. That's still going to equal K times t, and this time we know the t, the t is 5730. So now I can solve the natural log of 2 equals k times the half-life. And so this allows me to state through mathematics, through algebra, the, 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 the rate constant is 1.2097 times 10 to the negative fourth per year. So now I can put everything together. I've got the natural log of 100 over 1.38 that's what happens when I subtract 98.62 from 100. That equals K. I just solve for that, 1.2097 times 10 to the negative fourth per year times T. And so now I want to figure out my T. And we say that T equals 35,400 years when I run this through my calculator. And so that is the final answer. Okay.